Tired of traffic jams and pollution? Imagine buses that run on their own power, reducing emissions and improving commutes. This story begins with a man named Maxwell Chikambuzo, an inventor who dared to challenge the limits of modern energy. In the heart of Africa, he developed a self-powered bus that could potentially eliminate the need for fuel or external electricity. The premise was simple yet revolutionary, a bus that could generate its own energy while running. People were skeptical at first, wondering if this was just another bold claim with no real-world feasibility. But Maxwell had something few others possessed, working prototypes. The core of his invention relied on green energy technology, combining electromagnetic principles with custom-built energy converters. Unlike traditional electric buses that rely heavily on charging stations and limited-range batteries, Chikambuzo's buses carried their own power source. This means they could operate longer, farther, and more sustainably than anything on the roads today. Urban congestion and air pollution have plagued cities for decades, but now a breakthrough technology offers hope. The bus Maxwell created was tested rigorously under various conditions to prove its reliability. His team took it across rural roads, city highways, uphill routes, and high traffic environments to simulate daily commuting scenarios. The results were astonishing. The bus showed no signs of power loss even after multiple trips. No charging brakes were needed, and the engine remained cool and silent throughout the journey. In a world of increasing fuel costs, this innovation captured global attention. Engineers from various countries traveled to Zimbabwe to witness the miracle machine in action. Among them were skeptics turned believers who recorded every test and measurement for analysis. The key component was a high-frequency electromagnetic system that produced continuous energy with no emissions. By integrating solar assist panels and advanced regenerative braking systems, the bus further enhanced its own range. Each component was designed with modularity in mind, allowing quick upgrades and replacements without dismantling the entire vehicle. But beyond the technology, the vision was even more powerful. Maxwell envisioned a future where cities would be cleaner, quieter, and more mobile. He believed that children should no longer walk miles to school inhaling carbon monoxide from outdated buses. With this technology, that dream could become a reality. The bus was introduced in local Zimbabwean communities, where transportation had always been unreliable. To the astonishment of the residents, the self-powered bus showed up daily without delays or fuel shortages. Schools began using them for daily pickups, improving attendance and safety for students. Local governments saw the opportunity and began pilot programs to replace aging fleets with Maxwell's innovation. The word spread fast, reaching neighboring countries like South Africa, Botswana, and Zambia. Soon, larger cities around the world became interested in the possibilities. London initiated a feasibility study to analyze whether their buses could be retrofitted with similar systems. Paris ran simulations on integrating this model within their public infrastructure to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Singapore, known for its transit innovation, invited Chikambuzo's team for a showcase during their Smart Transport Summit. In every case, the results pointed to viability, efficiency, and long-term cost reduction. Traditional buses consume vast amounts of diesel and generate toxic gases, while electric buses still rely on grid electricity. But these self-powered buses sidestepped both concerns by becoming autonomous energy units on wheels. From reduced emissions to lower operational costs, the benefits were numerous. The smooth and quiet ride was another welcome change for passengers used to loud diesel engines. Noise pollution, often overlooked, dropped significantly along the bus routes. Senior citizens appreciated the zero-jerk motion and stable acceleration that came with electromagnetic drive systems. Accessibility features were built into every model, including low-floor access and space for wheelchairs. The ride comfort was enhanced by active suspension systems that adjusted to road conditions in real time. Air quality inside the cabin was also improved, with built-in HEPA filters running on clean energy. Buses were equipped with advanced GPS, digital fare systems, and real-time diagnostics for maintenance alerts. Local transport operators found it easier to train drivers and maintain fleets with fewer mechanical failures. There were no engines to oil, no exhaust systems to clean, and no fuel tanks to refill. 
all these aspects contributed to significantly reduced maintenance costs over the lifetime of the bus. A report from one Zimbabwean city showed that replacing just 10 diesel buses with self-powered ones saved over backslash dollar 100 000 in six months. That money was reinvested in school transport programs and road infrastructure upgrades. Job creation also became a byproduct of this innovation, particularly in the clean energy sector. Maxwell's company trained technicians to assemble and maintain these vehicles, giving rise to a new industry. In urban hubs, self-powered bus manufacturing centers began to appear, offering employment to hundreds of locals. Young engineers now had a chance to work on world-changing technology without leaving their home countries. Universities added new courses focused on self-powered mobility, energy storage, and transportation design. It sparked a wave of innovation as startups emerged with new ideas for autonomous delivery vans and self-powered ambulances. What was once a single man's dream became an ecosystem of possibilities. Back in Harare, students conducted energy audits to compare the carbon footprint of the new buses with their old diesel predecessors. The numbers were staggering, emissions had dropped by over 80%, and air quality had measurably improved. This was especially important in school zones, markets, and hospitals, where vulnerable populations were most affected. Commuters reported less fatigue during travel and greater punctuality in arrival times. Public surveys showed a strong preference for the self-powered buses over older models. For people living on the edge of cities with limited access to public transport, the new buses were a lifeline. Their range allowed them to reach previously underserved areas without worrying about infrastructure limitations. There were no charging docks or gas stations required, just the road and the vehicle itself. Even during grid outages, which are frequent in some developing countries, these buses kept running. This resilience made them not only sustainable but also more reliable than anything else on the road. Government officials began to take note, including ministers of transport and energy policy advisors. Discussions started on how to incentivize the mass adoption of these technologies. Subsidies were proposed, and public-private partnerships began forming to scale production. International investors saw both humanitarian and financial value in supporting these initiatives. The United Nations included the buses in a study on sustainable urban mobility for the African continent. Nonprofits working in climate advocacy promoted their use as a core solution to transportation emissions. It became increasingly clear that this was not just a solution for one country, it was a blueprint for the world. Every challenge that had once hindered public transport, cost, maintenance, emissions, unreliability, was being addressed in one elegant innovation. And at the center of it all was a man who refused to accept the limits of current technology. Maxwell Chikambutso had not only built a bus but created a movement. A movement that challenged engineers, city planners, and policymakers to think differently. A movement that proved sustainable transportation could be achieved without sacrificing performance or comfort. And above all, a movement that reminded the world that real change begins with bold ideas and relentless determination. The technology behind Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered bus is only in its early stages. Despite its effectiveness today, the real excitement lies in what's coming next. Ongoing research is dedicated to refining the energy conversion systems used in these buses. New materials are being tested to make the energy units lighter, more efficient, and more cost-effective. Software engineers are developing smarter onboard systems to optimize energy usage in real time. These systems learn from terrain, weather, and traffic patterns to ensure peak performance. Artificial intelligence is being integrated into the bus navigation systems for better routing and efficiency. Imagine a self-powered bus that not only runs on its own energy but also drives itself safely through busy city streets. That vision is rapidly becoming a reality with advancements in autonomous driving technologies. LiDAR sensors, thermal cameras, and radar systems are being tested in tandem with Maxwell's buses. The goal is to create a fully autonomous, self-powered transport fleet that requires minimal human intervention. In remote or rural areas, such buses could offer transportation where none existed before. For disaster zones, these buses could provide emergency mobility when fuel and electricity are unavailable. 
Their independence from external energy sources makes them ideal for unpredictable environments. In cities, autonomous self-powered buses could maintain reliable schedules without being affected by grid overloads or fuel shortages. They could be programmed to avoid congested areas and reroute dynamically to save time and energy. This level of adaptability would transform how cities plan their public transport systems. The environmental impact would be even more significant as fleets grow and replace traditional vehicles. By 2030, experts predict that self-powered buses could reduce carbon emissions by millions of tons globally. Urban planners are already modeling city layouts that integrate such vehicles into daily operations. Instead of building more fuel depots or charging stations, infrastructure funds could go toward roads, schools, and hospitals. Municipalities would no longer need to worry about rising oil prices or electric grid stability. Taxpayer money could be redirected into more productive, forward-thinking initiatives. As the buses evolve, modular designs are being adopted to cater to different use cases. School buses, city transit buses, intercity coaches, and even small delivery vans are being developed based on the same energy system. This standardization makes mass production easier and reduces the cost per unit. Small towns and large cities alike could adopt the technology without needing custom-built fleets. Fleet management tools are being created to track performance, predict maintenance, and ensure safety in real time. This data is invaluable for city councils and private operators alike. It allows for better budgeting, scheduling, and long-term planning of transit routes. As these features improve, self-powered buses become even more competitive with diesel and electric models. Their total cost of ownership is already lower in some regions, even with the initial development expenses. Future iterations of the technology aim to bring down manufacturing costs even further. Bulk orders from city governments and international buyers are helping to drive economies of scale. Partnerships with universities and research institutions are fueling faster innovation cycles. As more minds collaborate on the challenges, breakthroughs are occurring at an accelerating pace. Maxwell himself is working with global partners to establish innovation hubs in other continents. North America, Europe, and parts of Asia are now expressing strong interest in co-developing this technology. It's not just a matter of adopting the bus, it's about localizing the knowledge and manufacturing. This empowers nations to build their own versions of the vehicle tailored to their environments and needs. Local job creation and skill development naturally follow, boosting national economies. Training programs are already being piloted to educate the next generation of technicians and engineers. From community colleges to elite technical schools, the curriculum is being reshaped by Maxwell's breakthrough. Students are learning not only theory but also hands-on assembly of self-powered transport systems. Scholarships and government grants are being offered to encourage enrollment in green transport courses. As more countries build capacity, we are looking at the rise of a truly global clean mobility industry. But technology alone cannot shape the future. We need collective action and public will. This is where every viewer, citizen, policymaker, and business leader comes in. It's time to demand more from our transportation systems, not just speed and reliability, but sustainability and resilience. We must advocate for cleaner solutions, starting in our neighborhoods, towns, and cities. Write to your local representatives and ask them what steps they are taking toward energy-independent public transport. Engage in community discussions about climate change and the role of transit in emissions. Encourage your school board or city council to consider self-powered buses as a pilot program. Every action counts, from social media advocacy to crowdfunding for educational initiatives. Talk to local businesses about how clean transportation can improve community health and economic growth. Support startups and nonprofits working on sustainable mobility projects. Volunteer your time or resources to help bring these buses to regions that need them most. If you're a student, explore careers in renewable energy, automotive design, or smart city planning. If you're an investor, recognize the potential return, both financial and environmental, of backing these innovations. If you're a policymaker, seize this moment to lead your region into the future with visionary legislation. Self-powered buses should not remain a niche technology. They should become the new global standard. The cost of inaction is too high. 
Continued reliance on fossil fuels will only deepen inequality, degrade our health, and threaten our planet. Maxwell Chikumbutso's work shows that change is not only possible, it's already here. What's missing is the courage and collaboration to scale it. We must not let bureaucracy, disbelief, or inertia slow us down. Instead, let's build momentum through knowledge sharing, joint ventures, and public-private alliances. Let's celebrate early adopters and use their success to inspire others. Let's reward bold ideas and invest in sustainable outcomes. Every school bus that no longer emits, fumes, every passenger who breathes cleaner air is a step toward progress. Every community that embraces self-powered mobility becomes a beacon for others to follow. We have the tools, the knowledge, and the blueprints. Now we need the vision, the unity, and the action. This is our chance to reshape how the world moves, safely, sustainably, and independently. Let's not wait for tomorrow. Let's start building it today. Let's champion innovation not as a luxury, but as a necessity for survival and growth. Let's move from fossil dependency to energy independence. Let's move from traffic noise to quiet streets. Let's move from pollution to clean skies. Let's move from old ways of thinking to bold visions of the future. Let's move together.